Hey everyone, I'm Adnan and I'm a developer advocate here at the Cube team. Today, I'll show you how to connect Metabase to Cube. And as you can see, Metabase is an easy and open source way of helping everyone in your company work with data. So it's, uh, it's a very straightforward, it's very, very nice. And yeah, let's just jump right into it. So here in Cube Cloud, let me just run a query that will display the data that I want to uh, render and show inside of Metabase. Uh, we're just uh, grabbing the orders count and then we're grouping it by day. And that's pretty much it. Uh, let's just jump over right into Metabase. Give me a second here. So the first thing we have to do is we need to connect Cube to Metabase. But the good part about that is that it connects the same way as you would do to Postgres, which is absolutely amazing. So let's go ahead and click the add database. And here we need to add Postgres. Uh, let's also just give it a name. Let's do Cube Cloud SQL API test one. Add. Then we need to go grab all of the connection information from Cube Cloud. And you do that by jumping over to the overview, opening up the Connect the BI tool, and then just copy over all of these credentials. Now let's paste the host. Let's grab the database name. There we go. Let's grab the username as well, like so. Paste that in here. And then also let's just grab the password like that. Perfect. Now we can go ahead and connect this. Let's go ahead and save it. Awesome. So we have our database added. Now we can go ahead and jump into Metabase. And here we can uh, take a look at all of, our, uh, all of our databases and all of our tables. And what we want to do is we first want to run a sample query just to make sure it's connected uh, correctly. So we can do that by going into the write SQL, selecting our database that we just added. And let's just go ahead and do a simple Select star from orders. Let's see if that works. Oh, perfect. Returns all of the data just as it should. Now we can go ahead and add a bit more of a complex query. Let's add the query we just ran in the Cube Cloud a few minutes ago. There we go. Perfect, perfect. So it's it's working just the way we want it to. Now from here, we can also add a visualization pretty simply as well. So if we go to the, to the button on, on the bottom left, we can see visualization and then we can select, let's do a bar chart. Let's leave the X axis as created at and the Y axis as orders count. So it's going to render the data just like that. And if you check, it's pretty much exactly the same uh, visually as it is here in Cube, uh, Cube Cloud in the playground. There we go. That's, uh, that's that regarding the, the query writing. One other thing that's very, very nice is that you can also add uh, queries as questions through the UI. So if you go ahead and click ask a question, let's do a simple question. Let's grab the same database, do the orders. And then here we can, uh, we can use a summarize feature and we can say, let's do the sum of count and then let's add the group by created at like so perfect and you can see here it is quite literally exactly the same as we're as we're showing uh, by writing the query in sql that's pretty neat and that's pretty much it you're loading data from cube into metabase and you get a query cache every time you're running the identical query or any identical query. Um, but if you want to set up pre-aggregations or anything a bit more complex, you can just check that out in the documentation um, if you want to do that. And that's pretty much it. So until the next video, see you.